Chef Buck here and today we're going to make some very easy oatmeal drop cookies because that's what we all need right now is cookies. We're all losing a lot of weight so we need to figure out a simple way to pack on the pounds and fill out our britches. And cookies, I mean that's a universal answer. Come over here camera girl and see what we got. Just super simple assortment of ingredients. Little all-purpose flour, rolled oats, I got some uh, baking powder, baking soda, salt and cinnamon. Just give your dry ingredients a quick mix. Boom, boom. So now we'll set that aside and then we'll throw our wet ingredients together. One egg, a little bloop bloop of vanilla. Then we'll give our egg a little whiskey whisk. Then we're gonna throw in our sugar, boom, boom. And then a little bit of butter, or a lot of butter. And this is softened butter, see? That's how soft that is. And we'll just get all this cream together. And you can use a mixer if you want, but it's no necesito if you got one of these. Heavy duty power right here. I got all the power I need for making cookies. Now if you want me to cut the yard, I don't know if I got enough power for that. So we got our wet ingredients mixed up and our dry, and now we'll just blend these together. And you could just do it itsy bitsy teeny tiny at a time, or you can do that. And you just want to mix it together until all the dry is wet. I think it's time for me to get a little fork action going on here. Now we're going to add in our accoutrement. Boom, some nuts. Just using walnuts, you could use whatever kind of nuts you like. And then you could throw in some raisins if you want, but we made batch the other day with a lot of raisins. So I'm gonna go raisin free and do some chips instead. These are butterscotch chips. And as much as you like, that seemed like too much. <laughs> Camera girl got a panicked look on her face. I don't know, could you have too many butterscotch chips? I don't think so. But you can use butterscotch, you can use a uh, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, you can put M&Ms in here. So let's see how many cookies we can get out of this. And we're going to try to make them kind of small today. You can cook them on a little bit of parchment paper if you like. We're just going to lightly spray a baking pan. I'm going to retire my fork. And just use my little teaspoon here. And make some dinky do cookies. We're going to make them bite size. So that maybe they'll last a little longer. And you can make them whatever size you like. But you want them to be uniform so that they'll bake evenly. Now I tried to make some dinky do ones the other day but they came out a little big but I'm really gonna try this time. And you have to think about it while you're doing it because it seems you know as you spoon them out I don't know what it is you just start to get a little bit bored and they just seem to get bigger as you go along or at least that's how it works for me. But I'm gonna try to make them dinky do. You really gotta concentrate to make small ones. I remember reading Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance years ago. I think somebody needs to write Zen and the Art of Cookie Making. I think I could relate to that a little better. And you want to space them out, you know, give them about a half inch at least uh, between your cookies. Now these are pretty thick and they should keep their shape fairly well. They're not going to spread out too much in the oven, but you definitely want to have a little room between them. Okay, and that's going to fill my pan up right there. Go through and mash the ones together that need mashing. So our pan's full and we'll slide it in the oven. We got it preheated at 350 degrees. Boom! And I'm going to set my timer for 11 minutes. And then we'll check on them. And this is how much dough I have left. So I'm going to go ahead and spray me another pan and uh, get that ready to bake. Uh, but this recipe here, I'll have uh, written down below and over at MyFoodChannel.com. And I'll also have a doubled up recipe over there. So you can make twice as many if you need to. And you probably do. Beep, 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 beep. 11 minutes. Sounds like an Adam's Family oven. Get over here and see how they're looking. Now these cookies don't color up a whole lot. But let's take a look at the bottom here. Let's see. Oop, not really that much color. I think they can go for a few more minutes. So I'm going to slide it back in the oven and let it bake away for another couple of minutes. You know, you can adjust the cooking time depending on the size of your cookie. 
and your oven and your altitude. I'm oven too stronger. If you're a pilot, you can adjust uh, the time according to the altitude. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. So that should do it. Alrighty. We got a little bit more color right there. So I'll let these cool down for a second before we put them on a baking pan. But I'm going to throw my uh, remainder of cookies. And you can see there's a couple of empty spaces here now. And I think we have a raw cookie thief in the house. Now sometimes these cookies can be crumbly when you get them right out of the oven. So you might want to give them a moment before you transfer them over to a wire rack. But these actually look like they're in pretty good shape. Well, look how many chips I got in some of these. You can really adjust the, uh, the amount of chips that you put in these cookies and nuts. Definitely give this easy cookie recipe a try. You know, go over to MyFoodChannel.com. You can print the recipe there. Check out all our recipes. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you're doing super duper, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.